already been such a good morning. Happy Friday. Welcome to this weekend's vlog. We're going on a float trip this weekend with all of our friends. It's gonna be so much fun. That's tomorrow. So today I'm gonna be doing a lot of prep for that. Kinda like chill, summery, hangout vibes. And it's just gonna be a really great weekend. And the next week I go to South Carolina. This morning I woke up at like 7 a.m. I went to CrossFit. My cousin co-owns one of the CrossFits in town. So we've all been like going with them. It was like me and some of my other cousins. It was just so fun this morning, like with all the girls. Um, and then I came home, made my coffee, and then I just sat outside and got in a couple chapters of my book. I'm so close to being done. I'm probably gonna finish it today, definitely this weekend, if not today. It is about lunchtime, so I need to make some food, and I also need to prep all the food for tomorrow's float. I volunteered to make food for my husband, my brothers, and me, so I've got lots to do today. I don't know why, but I'm kind of in the mood to make some burger patties. For we're just making burgers this weekend. So I've got my KitchenAid mixer bowl and my ground beef, onion powder, chili powder, paprika, and some garlic salt. Mix it up. And then the kind of gross part where you literally form the patties with your hands. Make a ball, squish it into a patty. Before I actually cook the meat, make the lunch, we're gonna head to the store and grab a few things for the full trip tomorrow. Fit check. salad for tomorrow I'm making chicken salad sandwiches for the float it is so hot in here from just making all this chicken I essentially have two batches this bowl isn't that big and so I'm just gonna literally make it in two batches I cut up some onions and we'll just do a half in this batch and half in this batch or this is not onion this is literally celery what am I saying then we have these little onion guys chop these up perfect and then we'll just do half in here and half in here. Okay, here's where things can get sketchy because I don't know how much to put in this amount of chicken, so we're just gonna do a little bit of time and taste it as we go. I also need my seasoning. Okay, first we're doing garlic powder, onion powder, garlic salt, a little bit of paprika. going 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 I mean CrossFit feeding the cats cleaning the house doing the dishes made my husband lunch and then I was gonna eat lunch with him and then I got distracted making the meal for tomorrow just finished that and obviously there was a lot of leftovers because I made so much so I'm gonna try it in the same way so I'm finally sitting down to eat lunch literally sweating oh my goodness my little kitty is sleeping Phoenix I really hope this is good, but if it's not that good, I feel like it's fine because we'll probably be pretty hungry that anything will taste good. I also don't like crust. Maybe I should have already cut the crust off of the ones I was gonna eat. Yeah, honestly, especially for how big of a batch I made, it's pretty good. I'd probably rate it like on a scale of the best chicken sandwich you've ever had to the worst, maybe like a seven. It could definitely use more mayo, but the first batch or the second batch I made had more mayo and most of the sandwiches have that batch on it, so. But yeah, it's pretty good. My camera's been charging and I have been working. I like clean the house. Well, actually I kind of sat on my phone and watched a lot of TikTok, but I played with my kitties outside for a little bit and I uploaded a video to my book channel and I just randomly got the urge because I'm so hot to just go to the pool for a little bit. So let's do that, change it to a swim. I went to bed at midnight and just woke up a little bit before 6 a.m. Okay, I'll feed you. Give me a second. Um, I'm so tired, but float trip time. It also stormed all night, so hopefully it doesn't storm today. <laughs> Info, we go yeah, 
I don't know, over halfway at this point. I tried to take my phone out of this and it didn't work, but we're floating, I'm burned, vibes are high, going good. Gonna keep the music going, so bye. Long day. Um, thought I wasn't gonna get burned. Hey, it's just me being burned. We spent 12 hours on the river. Good morning. It's the next morning and I actually slept like 10 hours last night. I was knocked out from the sun. But yesterday was so much fun. I haven't gone on a float trip since last year. Before that, I had never gone on one and it was just so much fun, all my friends. I also forgot to mention, this made me so sad, but Abram got sick and he was really sad he couldn't go. His stomach's been hurting and it still hurts today. So he made it with me to meet over at Log's house and it was like, yeah, I definitely can't go so he went back home but it was so much fun it was like the perfect temperature outside the river was the perfect temperature it was basically like one long lazy river we're just hanging out having a good time and guys i did so good barely any like sunburns except there's this one spot on my lower back i guess i forgot to spray it and i was leaning over like this on one of the rafts for like an hour and it's burnt to a crisp so other than that i did really good for being in the sun literally all day i'd call it a success that was very summer vibes i wish i could do that every single weekend we were out there it's supposed to be an eight mile eight hour float we were out closer to 11 hours so <laughs> All day, literally all day. But today is Sunday, super chill, recovery day. Drinking my coffee, just ordered some breakfast. I'm also gonna start preparing for my trip to South Carolina, so I'll keep vlogging that, like packing and everything, going to the store, doing some like stuff I need to do, I guess. <laughs> After a little bit of relaxation and reading time, which I'm almost done with my books. I'm so excited. I'll probably finish them today. It is time for family dinner. Abram still doesn't feel good. He's staying home. I'm gonna go to family dinner, then do a grocery pickup, and hopefully do nothing the rest of the day. I had a Starbucks gift card, so I stopped and got a little matcha, sugar-free vanilla. Mm. I think matcha is definitely growing on me. The more I get it, the more I like it. I've also just been reading since I got home, and I literally have three chapters left of Empire Storms, probably about 30 pages. And then I have about 60 pages left of Tower of Dawn, 60, 70, somewhere in there. So I'm gonna finish them right now. <laughs> been a time all right let me catch you up it's monday right yesterday went to the store i'm currently making some food by the way i just have a few things to catch you up on before i continue the vlog sunburn is killing me we'll start there my lower back loki got obliterated and little side note if you ever see me vlogging in a bun i don't really like the way i look in buns so that's when you know i'm just i'm hot i'm doing a lot we're getting stuff done, okay? This weekend was so much fun. Float 10 out of 10. Since then, obviously kind of recovering from just being in the sun all day. Any sort of like burn up here is 
turning into a tannin doesn't really hurt, but my lower back, like, that was so bad of me to not put sunscreen there. And I did, I just forgot to reply. Anyways, I've been like, I made cat food, I'm making meal preps for the week, cause I realize I'm still gonna be here all day Monday, all day Tuesday. So then I told my husband, I was like, I'll just do like our regular meal prep for the week, so then you have like a bunch of food to eat while I'm gone too. Because he's like still sick. And I'm like, I don't want you just ordering food if you don't feel good. So come to find out, we were thinking like, hmm, why are you sick, why are you sick? Remember in the vlog when I was like, I'm gonna make a burger for my husband, like I was being like cute wife moment. Um, I think the meat went bad because that meat had been in there for a minute and I didn't really think about it because I was like busy doing stuff and I think he got food poisoning. So I poisoned my husband. I forgot something was in the oven. Uh, so hopefully I don't poison him again while I'm gone. Anyway, so I made my cat food because I make my cats their own like raw cat food. So I made that for this week while I'm gone and now I'm just making some meals for the next few days plus for while I'm gone. Uh, right now I'm making this, these are all such easy meal prep meals but this is like a buffalo chicken ranch so I just made some chicken. I shredded it up, added some seasoning, ranch seasoning, buffalo, I do Frank's red sauce. I don't really like Frank's as much but my husband loves it so you know you gotta sacrifice. Just some cream cheese. And then I, in the oven, just cooked up, I baked some cheese and you kind of let that get crispy on the bottom. Then you add this, put cheese on top, and then it kind of all becomes one like crispy thing. You can do it in like muffin tins to have like little chicken buffalo ranch bites. This one I'm doing more like casserole style. And this will probably also be my lunch for tomorrow. Then, I don't know when I'm gonna do it, but I need to like do laundry for the clothes I've been wearing the last few days because I want to pack quite a bit of it. And since I'm flying there and then driving back, I don't even think I mentioned. We're buying my mom's car, giving us a good deal on it. It's kind of like a gift slash buying it. So I am gonna fly there and drive back. Abram can't take off work, so I'm going by myself. But his parents live literally halfway between here and my mom's house, so I'm gonna stop at his parents. On the way back, I'll actually be there on Father's Day. So I'll be with Abram's dad on Father's Day, and he'll be with my dad. <laughs> I'm feeling very, it's giving mother today. It's giving um, productive queen. Like, it's just giving everything it needs to give. Like, I'm busy, but having fun. KitchenAid Mixer has saved my life. Uh, this thing is amazing. I just realized I put that entire, like, block of cream cheese and I really only meant to do half. This is why I can't do, like, cooking and vlogging at the same time. And then we're just gonna throw it back in the oven for a little bit. So now my biggest concern is what books I'm gonna bring to South Carolina. So I'm thinking that I wanna do a vlog in South Carolina, one for my reading channel that's like a week of beach reading like at the beach or you know just summer vibes and then I also want to do a vlog because I go there a lot but I haven't really done a vlog where I genuinely like romanticize it. This is also one of my well not one of my first times but one of the few times I'm going to South Carolina by myself so technically that means I can just do whatever I want but I want to make it like a fun like romanticizing a week in the summer or like having like a visco girl summer or like the summer I turn pretty vibes. I don't know where I like have all these montages But I don't really know like what to title it or exactly what the vibes will be So I've been trying to get some inspo for that And then the thing that I really don't know what to do is like what books do I bring? The thing is like I can only bring so much stuff in my carry-on But I can bring back however much stuff I want because I'll be driving flying there I just have a carry-on so I might honestly not bring very many clothes because I can always go thrifting or me and my mom wear the same clothes so I can just wear a bunch of hers and bring more like books Books and stuff, but I'm like, okay, am I being crazy thinking I'm gonna read like five books while I'm there? Like, that's probably not gonna happen. But also, what else am I gonna do with my time? I don't know what to do. I don't know what books to bring. So I was like, mm, I'm gonna sit down and relax and then vacuumed my entire house and did the dishes. We're just on a roll today. You know those days where you just wake up and you're like, I'm just gonna do everything and anything and no one can stop me. That's today, but it is coming to a halt because I am getting a little tired. I did a little more work for some clients I needed to do today and I'm gonna take about a one hour break and start Kingdom of Ash. I'm so excited. Um, and then I'm gonna get back to like work for clients, getting some videos edited and whatnot. It's also almost 4 p.m. I'm cracking a Celsius, I don't even care because I'm probably gonna stay up late anyways. May as well make it enjoyable. I just cut my nails so short I can't even open this. No, I had it.
got 25 pages in, just like a good little start to get the story going. But honestly, y'all, it's time. I gotta lock in and get some work done before I leave tomorrow. Okay, I've been working for about two hours. I have some stuff downloading that's gonna take a minute and my brain is like fried because I was doing very detailed like making posts on Canva vibes. So I'm either gonna take a reading break or a TikTok break. I don't know, I just need a break. So I just got an email from American Airlines saying that they have other flight options. I'm guessing they overbooked my flight or whatever. And I'm still on my original flight. But there is one that leaves at 8.30 in the morning instead. And then I wouldn't get there so late tomorrow. But I would have a 5 hour layover. But I'd also get there at 6 instead of 11.30 p.m. Which could hit. And then I could just treat it like coffee shop time. And do some work in the airport. Which could hit. It, all, it could all hit. But I don't know. Um, so I'm going to throw my laundry in and get that going just in case I'm like, yeah, I'll just go. Because then I need to be packed tonight. Um, ready for bed. Literally have my eye mask on, ready to knock out. I decided to take the 8.30 a.m. flight. It's like 11 p.m. Finally finished packing because I thought I'd have a whole other day and nope. But I'm glad to get there earlier. So I'll go ahead and end this video. Thanks for coming on this fun little summer weekend. Bye, see you in South Carolina. Thank you.